Hello, everyone. Welcome back to an Alec TV live stream where we're coming to you from downtown Atlanta at the Alec 49th annual meeting. I'm very excited today to be joined by Representative Montaham. He is from West Georgia. Did I get that yeah, right? Paul McCann. Paul McCann. Okay. And uh, Representative Montaham, his name is hard to say, first of all. So if I call him Mountain Man, I just want you to know I have his permission. He says okay. that's what his colleagues call it when they can't pronounce the last name. <laughs> Representative Mountain Man. How are you doing? Catherine? I'm good. Yeah, Thank Catherine. you so much for having me on today. It's an honor to be here at Alec and celebrate uh, freedom with all these good folks and to be here with you today to do this, uh, to this segment on a, on a very important issue, I think, to not only Georgia, but to all the states in our union. Right. The issue is um, the threat of China tech. It's become very insidious. We know at the federal level, our federal government has identified specific companies and technologies that, that are banned, that the federal government cannot purchase, cannot do business with. But the problem is, is a lot of states unwittingly are still using some of those that have been prohibited by the federal government. So tell us more about what the problem is. Yeah, absolutely. So we found that uh, you know, the FBI director, uh, the Department of Defense and others have identified China as the largest national security threat to the United States of America. So uh, you know, they are a country who's got a manufacturing base, who's able to produce computers and all sorts of microchips, and they are offloading those microchips here in the United States. Unfortunately, a lot of those microchips and some of those manufacturers actually have uh, hardware that's actually embedded onto the microchips to uh, spy on and steal proprietary information, confidential information from American companies, from governments, from politicians. And so uh, it's a real problem. Uh, you know, in the early 2000s, um, I actually owned a type of Geek Squad service. Uh, it's one of my first businesses. And uh, we saw it first day. We saw ransomware. We saw all the types of viruses that were being put on computers to try to either do one of two things. A, extort people out of money, uh, or to try to get valuable information. Uh, We've seen it to uh, to try to gain information, to, to steal people's information, to wait until they're trying to transfer or wire money uh, when they're trying to buy a home. And then they, then no, they no, 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 no. The net progression was things like key lockers, things that would actually, a USB stick that would go in between the, the computer and the, uh, and, the, and the actual keyboard. They're trying to get, this would be, you know, a, a co-worker or a disgruntled spouse or, uh, and, and they were trying to get the information so they could log into emails, so they could log into all these types of things. So we saw that early on. This is 2007. And this was 15, 20 years ago. Right. right? So now we fast forward and we see this. We see the Wildlands. We see the Lenovo's. We see all these different types of manufacturers who are actually putting uh, microchips on these boards. we got six states who have already said, you know, they, that they have been compromised by the, uh, by, by the Chinese. So we, we see that the six states that, that are have already been compromised. And they're using this kind of information uh, not only to take financial information, contracts, uh, proprietary information, uh, but also to embarrass politicians. Maybe you're a state rep now and aspire to be a congressman. Well, now they have the hit vision cameras uh, that are inside your offices. Maybe they're trying to uh, use that information to embarrass you. So these are very important issues to, I think, to the United States, to uh, future leaders and to businesses. In the state of Georgia, we've got companies, we just had a, a deal with Rivian, uh, which is over $7 billion of investment. And I think Georgia companies, and why we passed our bill, is that Georgia companies need to know that when they send information that's proprietary to us, and has proprietary designs or uh, ISO functions, so, so that, that, you know, manufacturing techniques and that, they want to make sure that that kind of information is safe. And if it's not safe, that means that those manufacturing functions and production processes are going to be available to a Chinese government who in 2017 passed law that said any information that's gained through these functions, through these hardware chips or software, is public domain for them. Right. So intellectual property, uh, manufacturing processes, it's being 600 the estimate is six hundred million, and I honestly believe it's a very low estimate. But this is the uh, this is a, a wholesale ripoff of American industry, 
of American uh, institutions, and it's time we do something to stop. I appreciate that, and I especially appreciate that you're here at ALEC educating state lawmakers to the issue, because this is a problem that can be addressed and solved at the state level. You got it. Yeah. So thank you very much, Representative Montmahan, and you can check out more and learn more at tech, no, chinatechthreat.com. The name's on the screen there. Thank you for being a part of our ALEC live stream recording from the 49th Annual Meeting of ALEC in downtown Atlanta. Thanks, Kathy.